Did you see did you see that clip of the guy on Omegle who like matches with a lady and he goes like, Oh, hi, femboy? And she goes, No, uh, trans woman. And he goes, Ah, wonderful. I uh I love I love trans people. I didn't buy Hogwarts Legacy. I pirated that. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go. I'm looking for men because I am gay. And then he just ends. The <laughs> That's so <ridiculous. laughs> Good for him. Good for your, uh, <laughs> what a guy. He's so good. I'm a trans person. Thank you. Thank you. I respect you. I did not buy Hogwarts Legacy. I pirated that. I will continue looking for other men because I am gay. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I That's that. really good. I just love like he instantly goes to like, oh yeah, I didn't play Hogwarts Legacy. I'm an ally. <laughs> anyway, I'm gay later. That is an ally move. Yeah. This is a very funny Such an ally way to respond. Move. Dude, we should talk about how about we just call this the Hogwarts Legacy special? And that's all we talk about for this episode. I'm gonna send you a drone strike. Send me a drone strike? That's not how this works. Yeah, it's like a kill streak. You can use it wherever you want. Oh. Oh, like a care you package. call for a drone strike? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Zip line. You just gotta run out and grab it quickly before another person steals it from you and shoots you in the who do you even, head. Who do you, who do they, who do they even f call for a, a drone strike? Like, when... O Obama is on the other hand, on the other line, Obama. he makes time for you. <laughs> Here, David, Obama's I'll send not you even the president anymore. <laughs> what does, does he have control of the nukes I've, for? Bro, it's not nukes. It's drone oh, strikes. Sorry. It's his specialty. Drone strikes. It's his specialty. Oh, oh if... Just like a video game, his special skill. David, his I won't take... All right, it sounds like you're making fun of Obama right now. That's the guy who got I'm me into making... drones. I won't take slander. That's the guy who got you into drones? Yeah. Do you own a drone? Oh, you'd be a... You'd, you'd own a drone. I don't own a drone. I'd like one. Corbin just sent me a place where you can get drones. Drone yeah, oh, strikes. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. How did you find that? Oh, I know about How it. That's who I use. Damn. <laughs> How do you strike them? Uh, you need to go to their contact page and fill out the vetting process. Why does it say healthcare? Why do they um, vet you for that? Why do they vet you for that? Why do, why do you have to vet somebody for a drone strike? Why can't you just <laughs> fucking strike a mother? That's what I'm saying. You just put first name Obama. Go, imagine going to a firing range, but instead of firing weapons, you just like <laughs> call in drone strikes on the targets. You can't drone strike anyone nowadays. There's so much. They're, they're, woke they're pushing admin. the fucking drone ban. <laughs> yeah. The world is too woke. Can't fucking do it. <laughs> You had to make my drone strikes political, Obama. Now stop making my windows update. Just because a few bad apples <laughs> drop. No, no, no. Not that video, dude. dude that oh, video is a banger. That video's still up. No, it, it isn't. It's been taken down. Like every oh, time you watch it. Down? No, every time you watch it, it's a new mirror. That entire video is just like some dude pissed off that he has to fucking. Update Windows. Update Windows, and then he just uh, starts saying the N word for no, no fucking reason. No, he doesn't. Reason. He saves it for the very end. It's yeah, he the, saves the, it, and it's a it's justified. The it's a it's very the grand see what finale. you made me do. Like, dude, there's a yeah. difference between PewDiePie Bridge moment and that guy. Like that guy, I was like, you know what, man? Does he have the? All right, all right, okay, okay, all right, all right, Ed. okay, all right, all right, okay. Ed. No, I, I want to hear. I want to hear what Ed has to say. He has something to say. I mean, I think you knew exactly what I was going to say. I knew I was exactly gonna say. where he was going. I, Damn, I've well. been, I've been where that man was mentally, <laughs> and let me tell you, I was thinking them. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, welcome he thinks to what the we're podcast. All, he says what we're all thinking. Especially when it's the N word. Welcome to the podcast, <laughs> yeah. PSD, the only podcast where we say what you're thinking. Julian, that neat. Julian, I don't know if you have merch. I don't think you do, but can that be your one and only shirt? Didn't you have what, merch just at one the point? N word? No, 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 no. Like in the front, it's like I say what we're all thinking, and then the back it says like as long as it's the N word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. Or, or, or like maybe you have it like Dude. engraved on the rim of the hoodie. It's a hoodie now and you have it engraved on the hood. Yeah. You put on the hood and it says as long as it's the N-word. Oh, yeah. that's so vile. Is it a white hood? <laughs> yeah, I'll get right on that's that. so vile. Thank you. Thank you, Julia. Oh, new PST merch coming soon. Hope I get writing credit for that, that one. That would be incredible PST merch. <laughs> No, that would not be. <laughs> David, that would not be. Oh, I can't on. do that. Come on. What do you mean? Oh, come on. I can obviously not do that. You, yeah, you fucking haven't tried. Idiot. You haven't tried. 
You don't what know until you a... try. But, and, and hey, it's you know while we're at it, while we're using these yeah. things, it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. I think that's True. absolutely I think, yeah, wise dude, here. Yeah. Is that something people actually do and say? Yes, do you, I do, do you that think Obama asked permission me? to the Syrians? <laughs> fuck me. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? I heard that phrase in X. That's a good movie. In X, they say that they're like, we're going to do a porn shoot. And then they're like, are we allowed? And then they say, better ask for forgiveness after coming. Yep. Yep. Wait, that's what, uh, isn't that the horror movie? Yeah, it's yeah. a good horror movie. That's a I've great horror it. movie. That's, That's really what my uh, middle school science teacher said about our pet hamster. In what, what way did what, that... Ma- what, what happened to the hamster? What, what happened to <laughs> come inside it? What? No, we just had a hamster we weren't supposed to have. And she said, better to ask for forgiveness. Oh. Oh, oh that is Christ, not where I thought... Awesome. I where was were y'all's about- minds going? Because I, 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 I said, I thought, come. I, look, we, I thought the hamster yeah, was I, a given and you were referring to some nebulous thing that was done to the hamster. Yeah, I was, well, I, I was thinking some like, I don't Serbian think it was that. Shit. I'm going to be honest. It did not end up being nebulous in my head. Like it was. Yeah, I know. You get your fucking mind out of the I, gutter, I thought it David. was like some Serbian film shit happened to that oh, hamster. Oh, God. <laughs> I haven't watched Serbian. Fi- I should watch Solo. I want to see like how, uh, how I far. You, I, I thought you watched it. We should watch it together cuddling. Oh, on a, dude. We, we should, should we, have do, do, like do. a Christmas special for fucking. Uh, <laughs> pondering and then like we bait the other guests and it's actually just solo (laughs) that would be evil as fuck oh let's do it oh we should do like a recut david we should edit a recut of solo with like um a live studio audience (laughs) and they're clapping they're (laughs) laughing they're like (laughs) and like a like one of the women like a sliding whistle no, okay, well, that's not... I'm censoring the entire fucking thing you said, <laughs> but I am adding a slide whistle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a oh. vile little thing you said. You're so oh. vile, Ed. Oh. Solo Disgusting is... Disgusting little creature. Dude, I should see if GOG can get me, like, an affiliate link so people can buy Solo and I that's make not, money. That's not a video game, but they should adapt it. That True, true. Dude, th- everybody says, like, oh, Last of Us is the ultimate game adaptation. Uh, how quickly we forget Gamer. <laughs> gamer, was, so, yeah, gamer, gamer was, was not a, an adaptation of a video <laughs> yes, game. Yes, it was. it was. It was not of one. It was of all, you it fucking was a, idiot. Yeah, exactly. Stupid. You're such a closed-minded little freak. It's not an adaptation. Freak. It's an abridged... Re- it's an adaptation of a medium which is even more bold might i it say is, it is the boldest that movie's got fucking what's his face in it what's the oh uh, gerard dude, butler gerard butler and let me tell you that man can buttle uh, it's pronounced gerald that, and that let me tell you that man is a citizen that can abide some laws that's true <laughs> he's also in 300 i think he is and nothing yeah, else. I wasn't... Uh Olympus has fallen? Is Question he not... mark? Has he He's in that? He was also in a movie. In all the fall... I, I think he's in the in all the fucking has fallen movies. Yeah, all two of them. No, there's three. There's like Did three. you know there's dude? Are you sure? Could... Yes. Yeah, no, there it's Olympus, London, and Angel. Right. They made a I third didn't even... one? Yeah, I didn't even know until now. Oh, he's in plane. I forgot plane. That came out like did that wait, did that come out yet? Wait, so this is a trilogy. January 13, I think. Uh yeah, there's a trilogy of has fallen movies. So far. You know who has a trilogy of has fallen? My what? grandmother. Because oh. she has fallen. I keep oh. pushing her down the stairs. Oh, that's not falling. That's being pushed. Well, what <laughs> what happens when you get pushed? Touche. Anyways, her funeral's on the 25th. <laughs> hey, that's when Succession Season 4 comes out. Let's go. You can I'll watch, watch it, it at her funeral. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. This funeral boring no, you pre- as hell. the funeral by watching it. <laughs> this funeral boring as hell. They don't even have Succession. All they have is the whale. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, I actually, I actually really liked Olympus Has Fallen. I don't know. I, I remember it being like, because I was surprised that it was, uh, I didn't know what rating it had. And then I was surprised when like a oh, guy gets shot in the head and his head explodes. I was like, oh, okay. It's a violent action movie. Don't get a lot of those I, now. I like the part wherever he's interrogating a couple guys and then they all start laughing together and then he sticks a knife in his leg. That's all I remember. Oh, yeah, I remember, I remember that movie being movies. good. Yeah. <clears throat> it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. 
It, it reminded me of like, it was basically just Die Hard in the White House. It's a big, uh, big, bold. Uh, I mean, it's no, I, I'm not saying in terms of quality, but in terms of concept, it's the same. It's a guy who's an ex like pro Marine gets locked in a building and it's full of terrorists that he's the only guy that can stop him. And it's like a one man army type deal inside a closed space. It's like same it's concept. Got a, it's got surprisingly high user reviews. Yeah, and no, it's surprisingly the, the first, high. I mean, I mean, it's got three stars, which is higher than I thought it would get. I, I, I thought it was pretty good. The, I mean, oh, the, the, the characters were like very flat. So like, you know, no, he's no John McClane. But uh, in terms of like the action, it was, it was pretty good. You know what else is pretty good? Upgrade. That movie kicks Dude, ass. Dude, that movie's a banger. I love Upgrade. That movie doesn't makes me want to never AI ever again. Oh, speaking of or AI. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, did you see fucking... Uh, what's that thing Elon Musk said that he wanted to do? And I'm just like, what the fuck are you smoking, my guy? Hang on. Here, I'll post it in general. Elon Musk having a strange idea. Dude, it, this is out there i just keep seeing him Whoa, fucking what 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 yeah. okay, oh wait that's no, a really right. good idea um, dude okay. Go ahead with that. So, who, can, who can make a yeah. who can do a elon, elon musk, musk impression i'm not doing an elon musk what is he i've never I'll, heard I'll, I'll say it. It. who can who has the best impression no of you a have South to do African an impression accent? go on I, i'm not doing that oh i got it no uh, can i get the uh the poo pointers david oh boy yeah give me a sec so you're gonna put your tongue on the top of your mouth. Okay. And then you're going to have a s racist accent. <laughs> <laughs> the make it racist. The make it racist. Uh, I don't even know. What, let me let me see what Elon Musk sounds like. I don't think I've ever. I don't even know what speak. a racist sounds it probably like. Probably just sounds normal. Uh, either to, to way. Quote a, to quote Jim Jeffries, a South yeah. African accent is the same as an Australian accent, but I'm beating up a black person. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're going to have to censor in, that one. So Elon Musk says, <laughs> no, Jim Jeffries says it. It's a quote, so it's yeah, fine. It uh, is. I'm in quoting. the months okay. ahead, okay. we will use AI to detect and highlight manipulation of public opinion on this platform. Let's see what the PsyOps cat drag in. Are those the cats that made Gundam style? <laughs> yes. Oh, fucking God. That's good. I like that, Corbin. Keep those coming. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Oh, I get it. Psy. Um, mm -hmm. man, what's, take, what's funny? You took your name off my drone strike list. Although I hate to be the guy that's like, life is just like video game. Trying hard <laughs> to beat this stage. What he's talking about is quite literally the villain of Metal Gear Solid Two. You oh fight an <laughs> AI that was made to detect and highlight manipulation Holy of public fuck. opinion. I'm Holy not fuck. joking. It's Elon word Musk for word the villain. He <laughs> <laughs> dude i like th this is uh, shocking like when i read this i was like i had to send this to like three people that i knew play those games and i was like hey am i crazy or is this just mgs2 no it's okay though Ed, and he's because like next month elon will make a post about mgs2 he'll post the cover and he'll be like what an underrated gem. it wasn't supposed no he'll be like it'll be it like wasn't Deus supposed Ex. to be it real wasn't supposed to be real <laughs> yeah, yeah. <Dumb>. wow <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. So based. I love that guy. What a fucking little clown. I thought you were gonna uh, say like we're gonna clown. get a post in like a week of like I have now finished Metal Gear Solid 2. And uh yeah, this is such a dumb idea. <laughs> Where's Snake? Where's Snocky? Where's Snocky? Why do I keep playing as this dude with a tight little ass and a really annoying wife? Why am I getting feelings? Why am I swimming with a <laughs> child? Okay. Bro, All right. bro, bro. Okay. bro. It's a quote. Who the fuck said that? Me in Snake? my Metal Gear video. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, well, good on you for saying that on your video. You're not saying that on here. <laughs> to quote, to quote the Raven. Uh, no, I don't I'm, know what the I'm Raven to, said. I was gonna quote the Raven in Metal Gear Awesome One. You know that Raven. Oh. Mm. <laughs> 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 Dude, literally, we got to restart. None of this is making it in. No, no, there, there's a bunch that can be used. Uh, I there's don't a know. bunch that can be used. There's, maybe, there there's, there's, maybe, there's maybe 10 minutes worth at most. When Ed's like, recording Kanye, I got a little nervous. Hang on. I got to move these fucking dishes because I keep slamming my table out of funny, and these are loud. Oh, man. I'm going to grab food. Is it. Is it
It's fine. It's fine. We we can salvage this. We can salvage this. I mean, look. I'm back. We're, I mean, you know, same as always. Worst case scenario, it's a lost episode. Whatever. No, it can't. It can't. It literally can't. I. Hey, oh, yeah. here's a, hey future David. Uh, if this is a what? lost episode, you're not allowed to fucking I can't. censor anything. No, I actually can't make it a lost episode because I need to make a main episode for a fucking sponsorship. Uh, <laughs> oh, speaking uh, of which. All right, you and me, we had a few talks about ExpressVPN in the past. You already know that I've been trusting and using their VPN services for years now, but here's a few more reasons why I like ExpressVPN. Every October, I host a horror movie marathon where I stream a movie every night for the entire month, and ExpressVPN was a lifesaver for that. Because ExpressVPN uses Lightway, which is a new VPN protocol they engineered to make user speeds faster than ever, I was able to log on to Jack. Japanese Hulu and stream 2001's Japanese horror masterpiece Cairo in HD without any buffering or issues. And it was all super easy to do. I just opened up my browser extension, clicked on Tokyo, and I was connected and ready to go. CNET, Business Insider, The Verge, and many more tech publications have all rated ExpressVPN the number one VPN in the world, so why not give them a go? Use my link expressvpn.com slash pstpod today and get an extra three months free on a one-year package. That's expressvpn.com slash pstpod. Visit expressvpn.com slash pstpod to learn more. Corbin, in the topics chat, you just... What did you mean by gaslight rent, gaslight child, and gaslight ants? I was trying to figure that out. What does that mean? <laughs> I, I, I just keep looking at it, and I'm like, dude, what the fuck is that? The only thing I can think of is maybe I post-dated some checks uh, to gaslight my landlord. I know, I know about the ants. The ants, we had a really bad ant problem. So I was leaving out, you know, pieces of food and then one would find it and I'd take it away. And then he'd go tell his friends. One ant? One ant at a time? Yeah. It's a lot of food. You're wasting a lot of money. Ants are very small, I think. These ants are tiny. No. -uh. I thought, oh. <laughs> These are big ass fucking ants, okay? Yeah. They're huge. They're dogs. I, I have no idea what gaslighting kids was about. Ed, did you ever? Sorry, not Ed. I don't care about you, Corbin. Oh, did you ever, um, Corbin? Did you ever share the story on the podcast of where you were like doing like daycare or like just I don't know? You were doing daycare. something that that you were doing something. I think it was like for church where you were like just involved with like you know like hel like helping with kids activities and shit, and they just started saying the most insane garbage you've ever heard in your life. Oh, uh, I don't think that I did. Because I fucking, I fucking love that story so much. Ed, do you want to tell your story first? No, no, go ahead. No, Julian calls the fucking shots around here and whatever. He's got money. They, 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 don't, they, don't call, they don't call me million sub Julian for nothing. <laughs> they, they don't. You're supposed to laugh. They don't. <laughs> I went to go volunteer um, with my church in Houston to go and be like a camp counselor for a weekend, for a little weekend retreat. So basically, I was watching over... Um, a group of middle schoolers and there was one other adult in my cabin and he was non-existent man would just pass out at like seven o'clock would sleep through the entire night. So I'm there and these kids are just going crazy. I'm trying to <laughs> fucking sleep. This kid just walks up to me and goes, Hey, want to see me hit the midnight gritty and just starts hitting the gritty <laughs> right in front of my cot, right in front of my bed. And so I'm like, I can't fucking sleep now. So I just you never started... told me he called it the midnight gritty. No, because it was right at fucking 12. Wait, was this <laughs> like, how recent was this? This was not that long ago. This, this was, yeah, like November of last year. I don't think you've ever told this, any of this. Yeah, I think you just told it to us in a VC one night. Oh. Cause I, no, because I've never heard of this. This yeah. is how I discovered Foot Finder. What they kept, the they fuck kept threatening is Foot Finder? To, they, they, I don't know. But they kept, they kept going, you, you oh. can't discover. What do you mean? You discover oh, that you it's a don't know about. website. I know what. No, I know what Foot Finder is. Foot Finder is that one website where uh, you can go see Harry's feet. Oh, what? okay. I know about, I know about Foot thing. Finder. Yeah. They kept yeah, telling yeah, me they were going to pull me up on Foot Finder. That's oh, no, that's Wiki Feet. Oh, no. Well, then what the fuck is Foot Finder? Feet picks what as a side hustle. Foot Sell feet picks now for money. Wait, what? Is that real? Is that Are a, you shitting where's me? Where's this website? Is this real? Feet finder. You're fucking buy and sell feet pics. What? The, underground feet finder is the... Wait, 
<laughs> Feed Finder is the safest, easiest, and most secure website for verified users to view, buy, and sell custom feed content. How old were the kids <laughs> who said this to you? What? Um, like 12 to 13. <laughs> they 14. should not know about Feed Finder. <laughs> oh, the things that they know that is which is just <laughs> so blowing many my mind. They kept <laughs> So they also were talking about something called Minion Milk. What the <laughs> fuck? Okay, all right. This is a, oh my god! It's got so many fucking trust pilot reviews. So, tell me, tell me about, <laughs> tell me about Minion Milk. So this, this is a, this is a list of um, just things that that night I heard <laughs> after after the midnight gritty. So yeah. a kid <laughs> when the when the when the midnight gritty tolls. A kid <laughs> whose <laughs> name <laughs> was Brent. Said, bro, Brent straight up made a minion milk. Oh, I remember hearing about <laughs> this. Yeah. What? This is another group of kids. Kid one said, bro, she built like an angry bird. Kid two <laughs> said, yeah, I know. She's so hot. <laughs> I fucking Dude, love that. Corbin, one. Corbin, when I heard these for the first time, this was the first time in my life where I felt old. Because <laughs> I had no fucking clue what these kids were trying to say. I, I, was, I have no I was idea so what lost. I have no, no I idea mean, what I, it means. I, I would still, be real. I, I don't think that they. I don't think that they meant anything by she built like an angry bird. I think they. <laughs> ju- I think they just are saying words that they heard online. <laughs> That's oh, they cra- you know what's crazy? It, it, it might be something a YouTuber said. Honestly, yeah. Like, also like, like Corbin. It, Corbin, I think like, I would have killed myself on the spot if she built like an angry bird. <laughs> If the other kid had responded with, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I just kept saying zero riz to all of them, and they thought I was a fucking legend. <laughs> uh, this is kid one. Kyle has mental health problems. Kyle responds, says the person who's like crazy, which I thought was just an absolute roast. Oh. <laughs> My Crocs are like bullets, as in they're coming towards your face. Kid okay. one whispering to kid two, you can't tell anyone I have a crush on her. Me, I won't. I promise. This is, this is the kids <laughs> that were in the bunk of Bumpy. They kept talking about this girl that he had a crush on. Uh, and I told him I wouldn't tell anyone, even though they did not know I was awake. You just told, like, at least 20,000 people. Ah oh, shit, my fuck. What the hell? You're going to have to go back and apologize. Also, one of them definitely had a fake girlfriend. It was it was the funniest thing cuz she she went to like four different schools, I swear. They kept being like, "Dude, where's your girlfriend?" Like, "Dude, she's she's so hot, but she doesn't have Instagram, so I can't show you pictures of her." Like, "Oh, what school does he go? To? What school does she go to?" Different school every time. <laughs> I'm MM rolling in these sheets. Get real. Oh no, no no! Okay, this is this is the kid who this is the kid who had the fake girlfriend. I would show you a picture of my girlfriend, but you know Whitney's protection program. Whitney's protection. Ooh, Whitney. <laughs> Whit- Whitney's protection. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is what I'm saying. They don't fucking know what they're, sounds, they're just saying. You know, things they heard like, online. That sounds like that one that one fucking post where it's just a girl taking a picture and it just says going to all of garden. <laughs> yeah. It's the exact all of same it. fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> Whitney's protection. Oh, fuck. He all that fucking one night, so dude. fucking funny. He just one goes threatened. Fucking Whitney Houston's grave revives her skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> Whitney's protection is so good. One kid <laughs> threatened. He said, he, he said, I will piss so hard it's going to clog the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude! What the hell are you pissing, bro? These kids, these kids are dropping some hard bangers. Holy shit, dude! That's awesome. These uh, like each one of these quotes it's could so be the title good. of an episode. I know that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> this, this episode has to be called oh. Whitney's Protection Program. Oh, of yeah. course, of course it is. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's so fucking oh good. Oh my ne- god. Next week, Dude. we're not even going to talk about these kids, but we're, it's going to be called Toilet Clogging the- Piss. We should get some of these kids on the podcast. Yeah, we should replace, no. we should replace <laughs> no, some we of the shouldn't. hosts with these kids. They don't yeah, have any who, fucking riz. Who's don't the, on here. Who's the fucking... <laughs> who's the who's weakest the weak link? link? 
I'll, I'll step out. I got the dude, lowest. Dude, account. replace me. I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> I'm sick of this shit. Get the too. fucking. Let's just, get everybody that, leave. Replace me with me already. Get me out of here. Replace me with that kid's fake girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> get her out of the program. What's her? Yeah, yeah. The Whitney's protection program. <laughs> Absolute favorite quote of the entire yeah. week is right here. Kid one, bro. Matt is so fucking gay. Kid two, uh, yeah, bro. Matt came out of the closet like two weeks ago. Kid one. Oh shit. Fuck yeah, good for Matt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember seeing oh, these. I, I Oh, that's good. I have a good feeling about <laughs> the youth of fucking... tomorrow. <laughs> I have a good <laughs> feeling about the effect from them. Be, you know what? They they might suck in everything, but at least they'll have good fucking content. Dude, Matt, that Matt guy might have been the guy I saw in Omegle. Hitting up trans people and telling them he didn't buy Hogwarts <laughs> Legacy. <laughs> I'm going to leave be now honest. because I got to look for men because I'm gay. <laughs> I keep looking at fucking Feed Finder reviews on Trustpilot and I just want to mention this one because I think it's a banger. It's from it's t- from two days ago from a man called Daddy Ryan. And his the title of this review is Feet Me. I saw everything I wanted and saw my friend's JF feet on here. Her toes were very, very yummy, tasty like booty. I also saw my friend and my crush 10 ninths website. Hey, hey. Cool. It's probably these. Is this same all caps? Yeah, think- this is all caps. This is a what? banger. <laughs> Dude, I love changing the colors of my nails. Please add me. Can we move on from Feet Fighter now? I want to make an account on here. Whatever. No sellers. Julian no you know, you know, doesn't you should, want us to find his. You're you know fucking what, you know what, David, you should, make, you should make a let's play out of that and put that on pain hole. Oh, yeah, let's just go through the fucking trust pilot yeah. reviews. No, just make an account. Start using <laughs> Feet Finder with Brendan. It's not illegal to show your feet on YouTube, I think. It's uh, it's not illegal to do it on any <laughs> fucking platform. It's just feet. You are Grow not up. going to have police knocking down your door for showing feet on camera. What you looking at, feet? BS, I guess I wasted my money. So Feet Finder is bogus as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Why am I paying for a subscription about- to, purchase, to purchase my feet pictures? Oh, so you have to pay a subscription and pay for pictures? Oh, that's a ripoff. Oh, that's bullshit. Even OnlyFans doesn't do that. Fuck Feet Finder. Go on OnlyFans and find your find your favorite foot creators out. <laughs> foot content creators on foot. there. Or you can play Marvel. I did not receive any of the so money I earned. Or you can play no, Marvel versus Capcom three. Foot. It. It's just feet. Grow after, up. After a month on this site, I made almost two hundred dollars, but never received Whoa. a cent of my earnings. Oh, oh man! Once again, the foot create the foot content creators are getting ripped off. <laughs> think of them. Why won't you think of them? No thanks. I want to think of them. <laughs> and by them, I mean I don't mean the creators. I think of the toes. <laughs> think of them, Julian. Dude, speaking Never of toes, did you guys thinking. see fucking futuristic hubs uh, YouTube channel got taken down? What? The the guy that does the Sonic and Tails and. Minecraft sexy ladies animations. The guy who oh, said all what? those slurs by making fun of a different Minecraft creator and like tried to rap but wasn't on a beat. I don't fucking remember. Oh. He's uh he he made that one video where he fucking it's like Uganda Knuckles, right? And uh there's just yeah. like no a way bunch he of, started that shit. No, 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 no. Obviously not. He always rode the fucking bandwagon. By the way, we don't we don't give a fuck are, about Are you telling me are you telling don't, me that Futuristic Hub is not a trendsetter? Don't you fucking dare slander Futuristic Hub right now. I'm sorry, Julian. I'm sorry. Do, do we know why it was taken down? Was it like vaguely? Oh I, like- oh, I have no idea. I mean, the guy was sending a bunch of fucking horrible threats to everybody. Quite was oh. one of them. He he said he threatened to, to dox Quite at one point and fucking kill him. I'm pre- <laughs> I'm pre- Can you imagine getting death threats from a Minecraft sexy boob video no, YouTuber? He did this to everybody because sometimes people will make videos on him and be like, look at this channel, it's trash. And then he DM'd them like, I know where you fucking live, Whitey. And, and <laughs> <laughs> he was a complete fucking psycho. Like, I'm surprised it took him this long. Um, but yeah, no, the, my favorite video is uh, Uganda Knuckles. 
Uh, they like go go like a, into a woman. They start licking her feet, and she and they're like, "Oh, lick her toes!" And then they jump into her ass. They go, "This is the way. This what? is definitely the way." Then he jumps into her ass. Have you? Oh how there is God. no. I don't way. remember that. I don't remember Future, that. <laughs> futuristic hub, Ugandan knuckles. Because surely there's there's mirrors. Hopefully there's an archive. There I, is. I, 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 I I just remember the 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 one wherever he was like making fun of an enemy like Minecraft uh like creator enemy. and he and he depicted them as as like enemy? very fat and like being bad at rap and he called them the, the he called them gay slurs. Here I'll, I'll put it I'll put it in general it's timestamp. This is the only thing I know futuristic hub for content wise. She will show us the way. You suck our toes. Oh, dude, do I want? <sighs> no, no, my queen. Oh my oh, fucking! What the fuck? Oh my god! No, I said go away. <laughs> oh yes, yes. Now we got her. Show oh, art talks. Watch this. Oh my fucking god! What yeah, the what, fuck? What, what, once it hard cuts to Sonic the Hedgehog, you can stop watching. <laughs> Still okay. Minecraft. So, oh my god, for- no, you can stop after Sonic looks around and says, Yup, still in Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh bro, uh, why? Why did you show me yeah, this? Yeah, th- this is for children, by the way. This is content for children. <laughs> I'm guess I'm guessing. And I guess the joke is they knocked a woman on the floor and then jumped into her ass to be fair that's hilarious i'm True. saving that for later so i can so i can laugh at it again later dude shout out to um what, what do you call it of uh, fucking twitter making your bookmarks public <laughs> yeah dude, oh. i have i have so much porn on there i gotta i gotta clean up oh it's mostly like fan art of Jury from Street Fighter. It was, w- since when was that? W- w- for what oh, purpose? That, that's like that's pretty recent. <laughs> oh god, dude, there's that, so that's much. Pretty fo- recent. Here, what? have a have this one. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna spoiler tag this. Wait, how do I fucking? Spo- are you are you just are you still going through futuristic hub foot? No, 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 dude. Oh. I'm talking about. The, uh, we're moving on. We're not talking about futuristic hub anymore. We're know. talking about Twitter making bookmarks public now. Like, dude, I'm not joking. My entire bookmarks. It's just pictures of jury's feet. Uh, dude, I don't. Wanna, why are you showing me that? I don't give a fuck. Oh, it doesn't embed because it's not safe for work. Fair enough. Why are you showing me this? I'm just saying. I'm not lying. Ed. What's up? If if you just make it so that your 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 Twitter account is entirely the same, but it is exclusively pornographic feet pics, just saying that's I mean, a that, really good bit. It's a really no, really like, good bit. Literally, all of my bookmarks is what just the feet fuck? pictures of this character. Why does her foot look so raw? What? That's not that's not true, is it? How do I even check your fucking bookmarks? I don't even know. Oh no, they're gonna they're gonna make them public. It's not it's not a thing yet. Oh, can you one's... stop posting this in general <laughs> chat? <laughs> Stop posting feet pics in general, Jay. Please, no weirdo. feet pics in general. D- this one isn't really feet pics. Am I gonna have to like, make a new rule? But like the whole like gimmick with this character is that like she's really like prone to fucking showing off her feet. Like, dude, have you guys seen Jury's fucking character select screen uh, for for Street Fighter Six? Dude, it is. They know exactly what they're doing. Those bastards. Where is it? Okay, first of all. This is one of the key frames of her super. She does this to you. Oh Get my back. god! I remember uh, that because uh, every time, every time uh, you think about it, you post it and you're like, "God, yummy, 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 yummy." There we go. So when you look at her stats in game, this is her pose. Oh, dude! It's like, dude, come on! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That, that's not what porn. That's in game. No, I know that's in game, but you keep posting it in general chat. Hey, that's hosts only, dude. So, the other hosts are just gonna. Sh- the other hosts are just looking at general chat right now, like, what the fuck is going on in this episode? <laughs> the other hosts are looking in general chat and going, "Oh yeah, these are Ed's bookmarks." The other hosts are looking in this chat and and thinking to themselves, "God, I wish I was in this episode." <laughs> God, I wish I was between those piggies. <laughs> why is it so funny to call fucking toes piggies, dude? I don't know why it's so funny. I, I prefer four slappers. Four slappers. My point is, none of this is a joke. I'm really into feet, and I'm coming out of the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> the foot locker. <laughs> Coming out of the shoe! 
Ed. Yeah. I'm I'm just I'm sick of you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ed, Ed, my question is. Oh my god. Ed, my That's question so is: genuine. Wouldn't you prefer to come in the shoe? No, Ju no, Corbin, shut up. That's that's what, that's for you. That's for me to know, and for whatever happens in the Foot Locker stays in the Foot Locker. Wait, no, the Foot Locker. Oh wait, no, it is a, it is a place. That's a real place. That's a real store. Yeah, it's a store. That's a, yeah, it's a, it's a store. store. They they sell shoes. I didn't know that. Ed is I thought I thought it was typing that fucking, on his keyboard like where that, to find Foot Locker location. No, that's a fucking me. movie. Jeremy Renner, he's supposed to disarm bombs. I thought that was Hurt Locker, right? <laughs> no, that, yes, that, it that, is. that is. It is Hurt Locker, <laughs> isn't it? There is a movie called The Foot Locker from 2010. Uh, that that reminds me, Jeremy Renner. I hope oh, you make shit. a speedy recovery. Your wife has been feeling way too safe lately. The oh, Foot Locker God. is a World War II movie, dude. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Wait, no, wait. Is it a movie? The Foot Locker Yeah, movie. that's the, Hurt Locker is no, the one I, with Jeremy <laughs> Renner from Renervations. I typed Foot, foot Licker. I want Foot Locker. Uh, <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, Ed. I'm, look, man, the O and the I are right, right next to each other. Uh, yeah, dude. Muscle memory took over. Sorry. Um, but, dude, speaking of Foot Lickers... Um, the, the story that I wanted to talk about involves a friend of mine. Did I not tell you about this guy? He's a um, super nice dude, very talented musician, uh, fucking corners me once. And he goes like, uh, he, tell, he tells me like, oh, Ed, by the way, I have a confession. Uh, I, I, I think I have a, a foot fetish, but it's only my girlfriend's feet. Have I, have I talked about this? I talked about no, this you story. have not how, talked about how this. Is it, how is it that every single story to or point of talk how is it all the same thing um but yeah he tells me that and i go so so it's not like a foot fetish you're just just your girlfriend's feet and he's like yeah and i was like are you into the rest of her body and he goes yeah and i'm just like then i, I think you just like your girlfriend yeah i think yeah, you're I think just you into like your girlfriend, girlfriend dude but he's just like no no but like <laughs> what i love the most about her is her feet and then I made like more than her personality or no, no, like if, in terms of her physicality, he top oh, rates okay. the feet. What do you mean feet personality? <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? the fuck are you talking about, David? You said that. No, I didn't. I said ugh, whatever. I'm not I'm not specifying I'm not, this. I'm, Continue oh, telling your story, Ed. A weirdo. Um, but anyway, then I made like a, a minor, like a casual joke of like, oh, you must browse wiki feet every day then. And he goes like, what? And then I remember that this is a very normal person with a real job. So I go like, "Oh, uh, you just out, out, okay." So I go like, "Oh, that's always that's always fun whenever you uh, you make a reference to some depraved garbage that you expect someone else to know." Yeah, dude, it was so weird. It was so weird. Like me, like fucking. I saw a couple friends like on Friday, and I told them, and they were like, "Oh, what's up with you?" And I was like, "Oh, fucking, I'm pretty bummed out that Lance Reddick died." And none of them who knew who he was. And I was like, come on, man. How? Oh, I thought you were going to be bummed out because I just told my friend uh, that, that I just outed myself for knowing about uh, wiki feet to my friend who didn't know about it. And then all my friends were like, what's wiki feet? And I had to do it again. No, a lot of them did know. Um, oh. But he but he didn't. So I was like, oh, yeah, wiki feet is like this database. You can find uh, any like celebrity's foot. And he goes, you're joking. I go, no, no, that's a real thing. And he goes, no, that's not a real website. Nobody would make that. I just take out my phone, Bro. I look up wiki feet. <laughs> it's I hand, how naive is this it's friend already of yours. typed in. I, I hand him the phone. Dude. Ed, Ed pulls out his phone and just goes to most recent. He, he looked like, <laughs> you know what his face looked like? He looked like the fucking like ass, ass duff movie character when he looked yeah. at my phone. <laughs> ass duff movie? Uh, like pure D colon. But like <laughs> out of like childlike wonder. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so I think you just taught him that he does indeed have a foot fetish. I think that's what you learned. I, I think I think I think that's what we all learned that day. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, nothing. The, the story has nothing to do with feet. It just involves that guy. <laughs> um, I'm going out with like a couple of my friends, including that guy, and uh, he just recently landed a, a job at a newspaper. So he's very happy and he's getting paid, paid big monies. And he's just like, dude, I want to get fucking crazy tonight. Like as we're at, at, at like a very fancy cocktail bar, he wants to like start wrecking shit. Uh, at one point, uh, we're talking about like uh, Alabama for some reason and how like, and how like it's state? a cousin and how like it's a cousin fucking state. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, uh, and then I mentioned that like, oh yeah, it's so weird that they uh, that they love banging their cousins, but they draw the line at like other races. Yeah. And, and then he he's he starts saying, oh yeah, uh, cousin fucking good. Mixed races, get the fuck out of here! And he just oh yells it God. in the middle of the bar. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he. Uh, and then and then at that point, I'm like, dude, you can't say how much have you had to drink? We've only had one. I think it was a Long Island. And then he goes, "Oh yeah, dude, I, I'm gonna be real. I'm very happy about the job. I had like two bottles of wine before I showed up here. So oh he my was, God, dude, he Jesus was having Christ. a very good time. And then we uh we dip from that bar." And we head to a friend of mine's apartment where there's like, uh, it's like five of us total. We're just listening to music. We're listening to a Silk Sonic. Uh, and then uh, at one point, uh, the Cokeheads show up. As you know, I'm affiliated with Cokeheads. Uh, Julian yeah. was not available. I think he's in like his third week of rehab. I think you're on step three, yeah. right? Um, uh, but yeah, I've, I've been I've been going to those. You, Wait, have you not been going? I haven't I haven't gotten my apology yet, but I'm I'm patient. It's okay. I'm I'm just happy that you're doing it. Wait, Julian, are you are you doing it? Y- yeah, Julian, we pay for that rehab. I said I said I'm going. The wait, all the money we make from Patreon goes to your rehab. I've been. What have f- you been doing with it? We can talk about this off the podcast. Jul- Julian, where did the money go? I'm picturing you in like the the Walter White like basement right now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, the, the coke heads show up and, uh, and, uh, th- this guy, he fucking claps his hands together and he's like, <gasps> and he points at me and he points at another one of our friends. It was like a, like between the three of us, we're like very close. He points at the, both of us and he goes, you guys are doing coke today. And we're oh, like, oh man. All right. <laughs> I guess we are. <laughs> so you did coke. Uh, so he hands one of the coke heads, uh, 50 bucks, and he goes, do what you got to do. I want this to become cocaine. <laughs> like, <and he's laughs> pointing at the bill and going, I want this to be coke now. Let me tell you. <laughs> fucking amateur. Never give a large amount of money to a coke head uh, because he will not do what you want him to do. Oh, God. What did he so, get? Uh, okay. So, so then they get the message and they're like, all right, we're going to get you Coke. And then they message, they're really smart Coke heads. They message three <laughs> drug dealers at the same time. Oh, they start shopping around for the best deal. Yeah, they start shopping around. And here's the thing. They all say yes. Oh, so fuck. they're all coming. And two of them are going to go home very angry. Or they're oh. going to be angry right there. And I don't know if you guys have met drug dealers. Most they're of not them, very... The, the yeah. Most of them, you know, they're chill. But the ones that deal cocaine... Yeah, like the real drug dealers. They have firearms of the unlicensed variety. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what you're talking about is the difference between like a drug like a drug dealer as in, you know, Derek next door who gets weed and, you know, fucking dealing Jason with who, carries, fucking, a, who yeah. carries a loaded firearm that's not registered under any jurisdiction. A firearm full of riz. Yeah. On full auto. <laughs> A picture, He's sorry, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm picturing that fucking kid. He's riskful. <laughs> um, so we got lucky, and one of the drug dealers ended up being like, like taking his sweet time and not figuring out where the address is. And the guy that owned the apartment. He's the type of guy that really likes to talk and pick fights with people that he's definitely going to lose. So he oh. just starts going, man, fuck this guy. You know what? Tell him to eat shit. Tell him we're not interested anymore. I, nobody fucking plays around. <laughs> nobody oh plays God. around with my fucking time like this. And I'm just like, dude, this is a cocaine no drug dealer. Like coke time. Why are we antagonizing cocaine drug dealers tonight? This is not what I signed up for. So he's out of the picture. And then what we end up doing is using the 50 to pay one drug dealer for one batch. And then... They decide that they're going to take out even more money, because obviously they only take cash, to pay the second one that's coming for even more drugs. So two of the coke heads leave, and then uh, we don't hear from them for a while, and then we get a phone call. And it's like, oh my god, the drug dealer's here, we don't have any money. And we're just like, well, what do you mean? And it's just like, yeah, we already paid the other guy, but now the second guy's here. But neither of us have any money in our bank account. Somebody needs to spot us. 
And like, oh I, I'm not part God. of this conversation. I, I'm, I'm like on the couch vibing and pounding. I forget what we were drinking. I think it must have been like rum and cokes. We were making like our own cocktails, but we were all very white. So we don't know how to make them. I think it was all rum and cokes. Making um, cocktails was a very white thing to do. I don't know what you're talking about. But uh, I, I'm just hearing like just aggro, pure aggro off to my left side. And I don't want to deal with it because I already am not a big fan of the fact that suddenly this turned into a cocaine party. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, I'm already not a big fan of violence and aggression. I try to be very happy and and uh, and jo- yeah. I try to <laughs> Joy Max in my time. Joy, Joy Max. Man. <laughs> Joy Max. <laughs> you guys ever frolic? <laughs> yeah, dude. Who else be up frolicking? Who be frolicking in they fields? <laughs> that's, what was, <laughs> that's what I was trying to think of. But basically the problem stems from neither of them have any money in their bank accounts. And one of the people that's there even has a Revolut account where like the uh, transfers are instant, yeah. but they yeah. don't have any money in that either. Oh my God, so I keep dude. hearing the screaming and the guy that gave them the 50 bucks, he's been waiting for like two hours and he's starting to realize that that was a horrible idea and he's starting to get pissed. Because he realized he gave 50 bucks to a bunch of junkies. <laughs> and then, so I just so I just turn around and I go, guys, what the fuck is going on? What's the problem? And then, and then fucking one of the boys goes, all right, fucking, we're freaking out because they're outside. The drug dealer's there. And neither of them have any money. And we're fucked because, because they have Revolut and I have Revolut. But, but like, I have a different bank account where I actually have money. But if I transfer... Dude, the Revolut's not going to be instant. But if only if I had money on my Revolut. Or you could just not buy the fucking drugs. Uh, uh, no, but the drug dealer's there. The drug dealer's there. Yeah. You can't <laughs> go back so, home. So I go like, I have money on my Revolut. And then he goes, okay, you could send it to me. Then I could send it to her. And then I go, okay, or I can just send it to her and you pay me back. And dude, saying that sounded like, it was like a fucking Professor Layton moment for all of them. <laughs> just Eureka. Like, like, dude, that's so, dude, that that's <laughs> genius. And, and the fucking owner of the apartment, he gets up and he and he pops off so hard and he goes like, "Yes, Ed, that's exactly what I'm fucking talking about. Initiative. Thank you." And he gives me like <laughs> the strongest <laughs> hug I've these, ever received from a man. These people are so fucking. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> yeah. These guys Holy are awesome. Fucking shit. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Come here. You know what? Come here. <laughs> and I'm just like, dude, all I'm doing is doing what we all thought of doing. You guys are just broke. And then whatever. And then I just fucking send the money. And then they, and then they finally get the drugs. Uh, and then I, I think that's the end of the story. I'm going to be honest. And then it was very uneventful. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no. Oh, so you so but you but you did do the. You did cocaine. Yeah, no, we we did after like an and, hour. And he gives me shit for this. <laughs> <sighs> we we ended up doing Bro. cocaine. And here's the funniest part. Here's the here's the, I forgot about this part. I forgot this is why I wanted to tell this story. Um, so uh, I'm like, it's like 15 minutes. No, I had just done my line. I had just done it. Maybe I did too. I don't know. I have a problem. <laughs> I'm on step five. Um. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, I get a call from my girlfriend and she's like, oh, by the way, my, cause she was hanging out with her friends. We don't mix. Um, uh, and she's like, oh, I just got done hanging out with my friends. What are you up to? I'm just like, oh, I'm at whatever's place. Uh, we're just drinking and chilling. Uh, and it, it was like, what, 1, 2 a.m. at this point. And she goes, oh, you mind if I like stop by to hang with them too and say hi? And I'm like, oh yeah, sure. So she takes an Uber here. And like while she's on her way here, dude, the party, like, I don't know if you guys have ever been around Cokeheads. I'm gonna be real. That shit is not enjoyable. <laughs> like it, it's just yeah. people being like super aggy and just fucking jumping off at any like point of aggression to just fucking have a massive just, fucking argument. It's so like, fucking aggro. About? It's so fucking aggro. It's not fun. One of my favorites was when um uh, one of my friends, this is unrelated, but it is related to cocaine of like a random aggro moment. Me and my girlfriend went to a party and on our way there, we saw one of these guys, uh, middle of December without a coat waiting outside for a drug dealer. And we're just like, Oh, Hey, what's going on, man? He's like, Oh, nothing much. I'm waiting for my Coke. And I'm like, Oh, cool, cool. <laughs> and then my girlfriend asks him, Oh, uh, the, did you not bring a jacket? And he just fucking flips on an instant. Oh no, I didn't bring a fucking jacket. It's up my fucking ass. Of course I didn't bring a fucking jacket. I left it inside. <laughs> Why would I not bring a jacket? It's fucking December. 
<laughs> Holy <just> like, shit. <laughs> Whoa. And then he goes, you know what? That's my bad. I don't know why I got so angry right there. There was absolutely no reason. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> that's, oh. that's too motherfucker. Yeah, it, it it really is. It is okay. Of course, I brought don't a fucking jacket. It's that. December. <laughs> Do uh, not know why you would take coke. I, I I don't know either, and it does nothing to me, dude. Th- but you took coke, Ed. No, and this was my second time too. The first time I took to uh, I took coke. The first <laughs> time I took cocaine, I took a line, and then uh, I was at a friend's place. And I just asked him, like, all right, well, this was some jolly good cocaine. Um, by the way, <laughs> what are the... Uh, sleep- jolly good cocaine. <laughs> I asked him, uh, what are the uh, sleeping arrangements? And he goes, oh, I, I think you're just going to take the couch. And I go, this couch? And he goes, yeah. And then I sit down on the couch and I go, oh, this is a nice couch. And then I instantly fell asleep and slept for nine hours. Oh, right geez. after... T- <laughs> I'm going to be honest, that doesn't sound it's that a- bad. I, mean, I, I don't think nice. I would enjoy sleeping on a cocaine high personally. I don't think you'd get very good night's rest with that. No, but I don't think it affects me. I think I might be like immune. I don't. So like well, the second, I don't. Uh, I don't think you can be immune to cocaine. Ed. I just don't think you've done Trust enough. Trust me. I, I thought that too. Know. And then I got more cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are giving me craving. Stop. <laughs> you guys are giving me the shakes. <laughs> um, uh, it's crazy how all of this is alleged and happened forever ago, probably. Yeah. Allegedly, but also really. really. I would never partake in substance abuse. It's not abusive if it's fun. That's true. That's what, oh, I said I that. Didn't I say that recently? I I, maybe. I don't know. I, I think I said that last episode. <laughs> Why do we always talk about this? Oh, because of Ed. My bad. No, I'm starting to think that Julian might not be the one with the problems. Habits. No, I'm I'm projecting hardcore, dude. Like, oh, yeah. really? Yeah, it's messed up. So, uh, my girlfriend's on the way, and as she's coming on the way, the the party's taking a fucking turn for the worse, and I'm just like, oh, dude, this is just this is starting to get more and more just not fun. And then she gets here, and I tell her like, oh. Uh, getting to the apartment. I'm lying at this point. Uh, I tell like, oh, getting to the apartment is such a pain in the ass. I'll go pick you up and then we can come. And she goes, oh, okay, I'll just wait outside. As I'm exiting the building, I'm putting on my coat and all the coke heads are like yelling at each other. So I pretty much just sneak out. And then I get to her and I go, uh, yeah, no, they're all on coke. How about we just fucking leave? <laughs> so basically my experience was I fucking waited two hours to do cocaine did it, and then I went, wow, this is really annoying. And then I just left. And, the, and the, really? But let me tell you, that Uber ride was fucking awesome. I started yelling <laughs> at <laughs> snorts the dude. A, the fucking. Snorts a line of cocaine. Well, this sucks. Yeah, that I just <laughs> left. Um, That's so fucking funny. To be fair, if it's, if it's a bad vibe, fuck that. You don't want no, no, like, to be high but with it's a just bad like, vibe. It's a hard drug, so to take it and just be like, Ugh, I am not Ugh. enjoying this. Um, it's yuck. just a really fucking funny reaction. <laughs> it's just it's just not a cool drug. It's one of the, it might be the worst one. It's so expensive. I mean, to me, I literally don't feel it. I mean, to be fair, it made me very talkative with the Uber guy, and I never talked to the fucking Uber guys, but I was what? just like talking shit and calling him an old fuck. Does, <laughs> Corbin, what? do you always talk to them? I always talk to my Uber driver. You, I you never have talk that, to my Uber driver. You have that vibe of just wanting to be homies with the Uber driver. I, I'll, I'll talk I, to them if they initiate. You, you, well, yeah, of course. I'm not going to ignore them. But like, no, Cor- Corbin has the vibe of like, okay, Friend. I hope I'm not psychotic when I say this. I hope you guys get me. But like, you know, like the older dad who like, who's like in a restaurant and just like starts talking up like, the fucking waitress is like just talks to them for way fucking longer than you would expect them to, or just like we'll start a conversation with a dude in a parking lot and have you have you nine years old standing there and just be like, oh yeah, uh, for the entire conversation. I don't know. Corbin just gives me that vibe. Yeah, I do that, and it gets so much worse when I'm drunk. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> that that I, by uh, the way, I have footage of me after taking oh cocaine for the first time. <laughs> Uh, the other Allegedly. day for St. For Patrick's Day, uh, I went out to the bar district with my coworkers for the first time, and we were about to get into the Uber, and I was already like, I was pretty drunk already, pre-gamed pr- pretty hard, and I had I had to warn them. I go, hey, we're getting in an Uber, just so you know, it's, it's going to be a conversation. And they're like, what? <laughs> we sit down, 
first thing I do is I put my hand on the chair or the seat in front of me and I just go, hey man, you ever hit anyone with this car? Don't worry, it's cool. <laughs> we won't tell. Whoa. I won't say shit, man. Whoa. I won't say shit. What the I go, fuck? I've hit so many people. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's, it's the best conversation starter in starter in an uber that's what i use every that single time so fucking funny i every time i get into an uber they they just want to talk to me about music they always ask me what do you do and i'm like oh, a musician or uh, audio engineer and then they're like oh bro have you heard of grimes and i'm like oh, dude oh i love always, grimes it's always it's always the same it's, it's oh, why is it always grime I, d- I don't fucking know i d- have you seen also, me? you're a grime head so Fucking I'm not that much of a I I like her album her last album that doesn't mean I'm a grime head. Fair enough. Gr- grime head is so funny because it could also mean grime the, uh, the fucking rap. British rap. Yeah. It could. Or it could just mean you enjoy u- u- uh, icky and goopy yeah, sure. substances. <laughs> sure. You, you enjoy what? What did he, he kind of just disappeared? Yeah, <laughs> it also it also could simply mean that you're a fan of icky and goopy substances. Uh, he's back. Uh I was gonna mention something. My usual icebreaker is like I ask a, I ask like the the Uber driver if he has any like friends or relatives that care about him. Like does anyone care? <laughs> like if you just David disappear David tomorrow. Is. No, 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 like, no. Like like know? if he because like I haven't had this yet, but I'm really hoping one of them says no at some point. Because if they don't, I'm like, dude, that's nuts. Because like I'm in the car with you right now, and I could kill you and get away with it. <laughs> that, that- <laughs> That is a good one. What I I, I like making up crimes that I didn't commit and just like casually saying them in conversation to the other people in the Uber. So my Uber driver knows to be afraid of me. <laughs> hey, um, I, uh, I, 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 need- I do that. But for other people, if I'm in an Uber with someone else, I'll turn around and I'll be like, oh, dude, by the way, such a fucking good night. That kid in the wheelchair got rocked. <laughs> <laughs> I um I I need to I need to briefly say I um I have um I have a meeting in ten minutes I need to do uh sorry I need to I need to dip out in like ten tell them you're in a meeting tell them you're in a meeting <laughs> a meeting of the mind mm-hmm. fucking um, we're linking our brains together having we're thinkies. linking our brains together and we're, we're gonna be answering to some Patreon questions. Hey, if you, if, if you, you're part of the five dollars and above tiers, five dollars. If you, <laughs> what's what's your guys' favorite color? That's a question. Oh, uh, dude, I gotta say, I'm a big fan of orange personally. I like, uh, I like green. I'm, I've been, I've been going back. When I was a kid, I didn't. I, I was super into green. Now I'm back to green. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a purple. I'm a purple head. Okay. Okay. David, we got uh, meetings uh, I, right now, actually. David, uh, David, cut, <laughs> cut that just because uh, I hurt yeah. my feelings. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll censor it just for you. Chat GPT said, if you could have any superpower, but it had to be completely <laughs> useless, <laughs> what would it be? Finally, AI is good for something. Also, what was the question? David what was, was the laughing. Question? <laughs> if, you ha- if you could have any superpower, but it had to be completely useless, what would it be? Uh, these are just actual These Patreon are actual questions. questions. If you're trapped on a desert island, yeah. What is the funniest prank you ever pulled? Th- these are actual Patreon. These are, are actual. They, are, we, pa- these, are they using Chat GPT? Wait, are all Chat of GPT Patreons- is trained on like real shit? So yeah. like, if you ask it for Patreon questions, it'll very likely just pull up things that are listed publicly. Give me an out of pocket uh it doesn't have pockets in i'm sorry (laughs) just says i'm sorry (laughs) what is the worst patreon question and who asked it dude fucking pick one throw a dice arc asks do you think black tar heroin is a sin and if not what drug do you think it think is and why is it ket ket isn't a sin dude every time i talk shit about ket one british guy shows up in my mentions like shut the fuck up dude it's awesome (laughs) What? Dude, British people like dude, they love Ket. Do they, are they just? Is it just a thing with them? They're just fucking into it. They're super. Dude, you go to a rave, you go to a club, you're gonna do Ket. Oh man, no, they, something new with these fuckers. Uh, they love Ket and they love it's those fucking balloons. Those balloons fuckers. you sniff 
and they get you high for like a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, what's that's, with, it's helium. What's with you and drugs? No, it's not helium. It's a fucking whatever balloon. It's a weird. It's not. It, it's a weird you, type okay. of gas. I thought. Okay, I always. I mean, because I know oh, you, you mean can whippets? get a high off helium. You talking about whippets? I think it might be a whippet. Yeah. I think that's what. Yeah, yeah. It's, no, you don't. I, I don't think you do that from a balloon. You do it from like it's from a, from like a you like can a do carbonation. It you put it into a balloon first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like oh, you, you pump the balloon with the weird bottle. Yeah. Okay. It's not a weird bottle. It's like whip, it's a CO2 whipping cream. cartridge. Oh yeah. Okay. How? Sorry. Yeah, I forgot that Julian's literally in fucking rehab, so I probably shouldn't correct him about how to do drugs. I know a lot about like really, really cheap, shitty drugs because I'm around people who take them. Yeah, you're in rehab. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's why his mic's so short. <laughs> He's Zoom calling us from the fucking establishment. The establishment? Yeah, the meeting, oh, the meeting, the is, actually, the meeting is actually they, AA. They do AA for drugs? I thought Pretty AA sure. was just for alcohol. Uh, you know what I mean. It's alcohol anonymous. <laughs> anomina. Anomina. My, my brain is having I, one. <laughs> I gave up. Sorry, I'm on cash. Uh, Shantanu Bhatia asks, what is the collective noun for a group of PST hosts? Drug addicts. I was going to say, but that's definitely a better one. <laughs> I'd rather I'd rather be a drug addict, IMO. I don't know about you, Julian. <laughs> David, do me a favor uh, and bleep what I said. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. I'd rather be an arsonist. Okay. I was thinking arson too. I don't know. It's like whatever. Drug addiction is more wanna, fun. I don't know, David. I've got a lighter. I've got a need. Actually, that that got <laughs> you know that that thing that Julian said. Is there rehab for that? <laughs> <laughs> like, do they have to wean you off of it? Oh, off my of what God. arson? No, the thing you that said. That is not uh, what you said. Oh, oh, no! I, <laughs> I don't, I don't like think that there you is. said wean. <laughs> yeah, I hate that. I think man. it's called. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if there is one. I think you're just kind of shunned from society. Uh, the Snack Salatal asks, <laughs> hypothetically, what is the worst gift you would give each other for the holidays? Hi, um, I'd give... I'd give Julian more code. I'd give David... <laughs> I, I'd give David a conversion shock collar. Uh, oh, I, my, oh God. my fucking God. <laughs> I, to wow. be fair, Ed to be fair, it's been okay. But to be fair to Ed, it's been getting pretty bad with the wedding and all. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! Dude, the, yeah, the wedding's looking super expensive. I'm looking for an out. It's looking super fucking gay. Just shock uh, me out of it. I give I give Corbin an eviction notice, uh, and I give Julian more cocaine. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> Your turn. Uh, I would so I'd give Julian more cocaine. <laughs> I'd give Ed uh, crushed up sleeping pills and tell him it's cocaine. Oh God! Uh, oh my God! Maybe that's what's been happening. Jesus, you're just gonna pull a Pulp Fiction on him? <laughs> I've never seen that movie. And I'm gonna give David an adrenaline needle because <laughs> he's gonna need it later. This, this isn't a spoiler. Fuck you, people who care about Quentin Tarantino. You like feet. You like feet. I'm pointing. Wiki how? Wiki how? Oh, fucking no, it's Julian. Finder I now. should link you my bookmarks. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, a oh, major, Street Fighter a major fans when they see that, foot. A major thing that happens in that movie, Corbin, is that the one of the main characters uh, just does a fat line of heroin thinking that it's cocaine and then fucking dies because That's you funny. don't snort that, you, you burn it and then you it's different. I um I would I would give a shit ton of heroin to Ed and then when he needs adrenaline I'd give him heroin. <laughs> <laughs> I put heroin in the shot thing instead of adrenaline. Heroin just with, start stabbing yeah. his heart with more heroin. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna roll over. Two, so yeah, good. yeah, no. Two positives is a negative, idiot. Yeah, yeah, just oh, cancel it out. True. I mean, yeah, to be fair, cancel if, out the heroin with more I heroin. Because I pump the heroin into my veins, but then like I think the heroin is an adrenaline shot, so, and so that's supposed to go into my sternum, right? So surely the response is different. Surely the heroin in my sternum would wake me up. I have to shit, and then I have to be on a meeting, so I'm gonna meet that person while shitting. Talk to you guys later. Wait, are you leaving? What, dude? We're about no, to I'm finish it. We're literally oh, okay, about fine. to finish it. I, I need it. to shit really bad, so finish it.
Uh, I'd give oh. Julian um, not toilet paper. Fuck him. I, I would. I would not give. Dude, imagine if he had to wipe with his hands instead. Fucking idiot. No. I'd give him a long walk to the no. bathroom. I'd give Julian uh, one of those. I'd put wet wipes, like a fucking the thing that throw, babies oh use God. to wipe your ass. I'd throw Julian in the Skinamarink house where there's no <laughs> toilet. Fuck you. <laughs> I do not want to get skin a ring. What's your favorite? Marco Sotelo asked, what's your favorite fruit? Uh, you. David. Hey, this episode would not be possible without the help from our patrons, such as Alan Diver, Battle Crown V, Ben Krismanic, Bier, Boo Poo Brain Soup, Caffeine Addicted Chemist, Cheese Dreams, Chris Chapman, Christian B, Cthulhu 60, Dasul Burt, Dreams of Ice, Do Biology, Ducky Madness, DX Studios, Eric Scott Gillies, Ethereal, Fang Jade, Generic Phoenix, Handsome Destiny, Hater 115, It's Ducktastic, Jeff Smith, John Requires Lasagna, Kawaii Boy Toy, Leo the Geotech, Loudon Woodworth, Madeline Sawyer, me, Mr. Shirt, Sin oh, no, Sinusoidal, I don't know how to say your name, Samuel, nothing worth mentioning, Chantanu Batia, Snake Asylum, Spherical Nathan, Teague, The Frost Ace, The Snack Salatal, Winnie Rab, Will 9455, William Oliver, and Winchester Curse. Thank you so much for listening, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>